I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. However, for the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where you stand. Is that truly your desire, your majesty? I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Is that not why you disappeared from history, along with Adam the hero? <laughs> Begin. What up, everybody? This is your boy DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last video, we ended up foiling the plot of Bana to try to get, uh, or say his little plan to try to get back in with the guild. After foiling his plot, he decided to try to take us out with him. There was a casualty, but thanks to a certain someone, he was brought back. And so it was only just Bana himself who was sacrificed. But now with all that craziness and everyone returning back to their homes, it's time for us to make our way to Tantal. So let's go ahead and get started. Dorara, hear the news. Friends want you to go to Tantal. Let's go. Actually, ship captain was in the line and go into deep mourning for Lady Fan. Then was no one left to steer ship. And so Dorara gets selected to replace. Dorara never go there before, so we'll have to work hard to make trip success. Dorara not worry though. With Prince of Tanta on board, getting in should be piece of pollen cake. Say, chum, which one do you fancy, Pyra or Mithra? Uh, Zeke. You can't just ask someone... Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like totally different characters. Like Mithra is jolly intense. And Pyra is just totally mellow or, I don't know, what's the opposite of pushy? On the outside, maybe. But Pyra's got a lot of backbone, too. She can be pretty stubborn. You seem to understand them pretty deeply. Well, I suppose you are their driver. Hey. Yeah? You're a prince from Tantal, aren't you, Zeke? Why were you in the Praetorium? I mean, you can't just ask someone... Oh, his old man kicked him out. Oi! No, bad blade, bad. How long have you been standing there? From about... Which one do you fancy? Which one do you fa... That's the whole conversation. As I was saying, my prince got disowned by his father. He spent all his time traveling the world for fun, instead of attending to his studies. Then bye! It wasn't for fun. I was learning all about, uh... Society and international relations. <laughs> international relations, that what you call it? Oi, can it you? What are you doing anyway? Dissing your own driver. <laughs> you guys crack me up. I love him really. Oh. Anyway, he sounds tough. Zeke's dad, I mean. Tantal is an isolationist society. Crossing its borders without leave is strictly forbidden. It's been that way for ages now. Oh, hmm. But you've seen how my prince here is. Couldn't stop himself leaving a few times. So he got chewed out and disowned. Back when he was 15 or something? Yeah, something like that. Then the Praetor himself found him half dead on the ground one day and took him in. He made up that special invoice stuff. 
And that's how you ended up in Indol. It all makes sense now. Oh, but wait. Is it safe for you to go back to Tantar, then? This time, we've got official business from the Praetorium. It'll be fine, probably. Besides... Yeah? Tantal is too ignorant of the outside world. It needs a wake-up call. Sire, we have reached the designated coordinates. Please. Right! Ready? You betcha! Huh? Shut up and sit down, chum. This'll be great! My lord, Genbu has begun surfacing. I am aware. It's Pandoria. Then the prince... Yes. We have received reports that he made contact with the Aegis in Indol. So after 500 years, he makes his move. Praetor Amalthus. My lord? We must act to protect our days of peace, even if they are a dream that cannot last. Bigger version of Tutus. It's called Genbu. It's the same like Titan type as Uriah. Normally it's submerged in the Cloud Sea. Even in early fall, it can get pretty cold inside Tantal. Mind you don't freeze. <sighs> I really can't stand the cold. I can provide my own warmth. You can stay close to me if you like. Me as well. You guys are pretty handy to have around. Well, it is our trademark, right? Essentially. Aren't you gonna be cold like that, Shellhead? I'm used to it. I'll be daddy. He's naturally dense. It's good insulation. Oh, oh makes, makes sense. sense. Stop encouraging her, gang of bullies! See if there's any secrets or any chests or anything I could possibly get. Hey, Mia, do you um mind? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. You're just so warm. I can't help it. It's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. 
I'm not your personal heater, you know? M my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Pyra seems to be in some distress. No way. Your fur's all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. But, my lady. Hey, is it just me, or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things, the glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the Titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other Titans. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. So it's... cold-blooded? Call it what you like. I actually like this change of scenery, you know? Going from lush green lands and Gormont to just beautiful scenery in Araya to completely dusty desert like and uh, more ordained to this snowy I guess you could say snowy paradise here in Tento. And that's the castle. Looks pretty cool. Kind of hard to hard here, huh? Hey, Pandoria. Zeke's a rather unlucky guy, is he not? Isn't it difficult being his partner? of mine. He's unlucky like you wouldn't believe. If there was an all all rest unluckiness championship, he'd win every time. From the incidents I've witnessed alone, he's already been chased by rolling rocks, fallen off cliffs. He even fell into the cloud sea once, as I recall. <laughs> you ain't seen the half of it. When he's walking in the harbor, he's always getting bitten or smacked around the face by the titan ships. Oh, this one time, he got caught in a blizzard, took shelter in a cave, and wound up surrounded by a hundred Ignas. <laughs> I could keep going for hours. Well, I don't quite know how to react. Frankly, I'm impressed you're both still alive. Yes, congratulations on surviving. Or should I say, my condolences. Too far, Bridget. Too far. Still, I gotta admit, keeping an eye on my prince is a full-time job. You should try it yourself sometime. He drives me crazy. But you love him all the same, yes? Quite so. 
we will keep your little secret from your beloved prince until such time as you see fit. I'm trying to tell you, it's not like that. Oh, you're so cute when you get embarrassed. <laughs> I quite agree. Hey, stop that. Don't you give me that knowing smile. Curse you, my prince, and your unlucky nature. <laughs> and arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. Is the very picture of the ancient civilizations I've read about. It's a pretty classic look. You know the old land of Torna? They had a proud and noble civilization, rivaled only by Judicium at the time. But whereas Judicium were the masters of biological arts, Tornans knew all there was to know about engineering. The proud blood of Torna runs in the veins of us, Tantalese. As there are people to pass it on to, civilization will endure. Knowledge is inherited, much like life itself. Nice quote. You should write that down. Thank you. It's not that simple, though. Huh? You'll see. Congratulations! Whoa! That's a pretty lively market. It's the black market. Tantal is so cold, there's precious little in the way of local produce to sell. Just look, all the regular shops are shuttered. You're right, they're mostly empty. Instead, folks pay ungodly prices for produce that's been smuggled in from other nations. And since it's the only thing keeping people from actually starving, the bigwigs just turn a blind eye. So most of the agricultural production is wasted just surviving, and the country grows weak. Exactly. So even the wisdom of a proud ancient civilization cannot solve all problems. Ancient civilization sounds good and all, but basically, this place is a giant museum with no tourists. That's not going to feed anyone. And arrived. <laughs> we have been expecting you, Your Highness. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Is the old man inside? Indeed. He has been eagerly awaiting your return. Ha! <laughs> now I know you're lying. Our moves will fly before that man welcomes me home. No need to coddle me, mate. Apologies. 
Any case, seems he knows we're coming. That'll save time. Could it be? Are you all right? Yes. Tora? Uh, but why? It true. I'll be able to produce own reserves of ether energy, but. I'll explain later. For now, just do as I ask. All right, then. Leave it to Tora! The Aegis, I presume. Huh? Huh? Guards! My lady! Meme! What the hell is going on? Shall I? No, no idea! Stop this at once! Damn! until they do, Zeke. The world must not be allowed to burn. The Aegis must be destroyed. Oh, no, you don't. Dromak, let's get Rex out to there. Roger. The ether energy. Ah! My lady! Ah! Please do not resist. My goal is only to destroy the Aegis. I have no wish to take your lives also. King Eulogimenos, I stand before you as a special envoy of Moradain. The Emperor sent me here himself. Do you realize what you are doing? I am quite aware and prepared to face the consequences. Prepared? I see you still speak like a commoner. What's that got to do with anything? Don't change the subject! What if I told you I act for justice? What are you trying to say? You could say, I'm doing this for all rest. Say what now? Follow me. This is... This is the legacy of our royal line. You can't be serious! Why? Father, why? Ah. 
It appears the flow of ether energy is being blocked off. Damn it! While we're doing this, Pyra is... We have to do something! There is no point, Rex. You're just wasting your strength. Both the walls and floor are built to withstand great force. We cannot make a dent in them. Let's calm down a bit, Rex. If we think calmly, we'll come up with something. <laughs> hey, you lot! Can you try to help us out here? Your efforts are pointless. The way they built this place, it's essentially one giant stasis web. Stasis web? Like those nets used in Torigoth. To lock drivers up together with their blades, and even leave us our weapons, they must have the utmost confidence. Perhaps we could break through given enough time, but by then it will be too late and the Aegis will be disposed of. Disposed of? That's all the more reason you should give us a bloody hand. I said it's pointless. <sighs> we won't get anywhere. With brute force, that is. Huh? So what now, my prince? This pisses me right off. Uh, say what? I said I'm pissed off. Doing it for the world, my ass. How self-serving can you get? How do you mean? This country's strangling itself to death with its own web of lies and excuses. But just maybe our chum could break it free. Rex could? No faith, eh? Hey, whatever. If you believe in him, my prince, I'm with you all the way. That kid's heart is pure. Too pure for his own good, sometimes. But isn't it our duty as adults to give him a little help with that? Probably. You know, this is what I like about you. This won't be easy. Oh, quit it with your drama! When is anything ever easy for you? <laughs> Let's go! Okay, that should do it. Preparations complete. What's going on, Tora? Oh, both drivers and blades use ether energy to deploy arts, yes? You can skip the lecture, Tora. Everyone knows that. But right now, friends cannot, yes? Yeah. There's something about this room. Oh, but Rex Rex and friends forgetting one very important thing. Hurry up, would you? Just spit it out, Furball. Could be friends forgetting Poppy is artificial blade? Why would we forget that? She's been with us all this time. Wait, I get it. Haritha Furnace. Rex correct. Thanks to friend Morag, Poppy now able to generate own supply of ether energy. Nothing Barrier can do anything about. Tora transfer crystal from Sword of Morag to Biter of Poppy. That crystal have enough energy stored for one use of arts. And Biter of Poppy use Earth Element. So, through synergy with Fire Element of Morag, power of arts is amplified. If we hit it straight on, I doubt the door can withstand that. Wait a minute. You stored energy in that crystal. How is that possible with a barrier? Aha! Lady Morag has not used a single art since we arrived in this place. What? I had my suspicions ever since we entered the palace. 
So, I secretly asked Tora to refrain from using any arts either. Whoa! I see now. If our enemy's new poppy retains her power inside the barrier, they would keep us on a tighter leash. Exactly. Here goes. Step back. Hold up! If you transferred the crystal from the sword, what will you fight with? I can generate a new one from Bridget's core. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know about that. What? Seriously, you don't even know how blade weapons work. Give me a break. How would I know something like that? I've never lost or broken my weapon. Then I suppose I cannot blame you. Moving along, then. Tora, Poppy, please. With pleasure! Poppy Power! Jet Fighter! We did it! We the best! You made quite some noise, too. It won't be long before the guards arrive. Good point. Lady Pyra was taken below. Mayhap somewhere beneath the palace? Got it. Broken out. Time to go rescue Pyra. If they seek a fight, they shall get. See how this is gonna work. We are swinging at max power. We're amazing. Considerably, Tora. Really? Could Tora even become as good as Rex? Okay, not too bad. Zeke! Pandoria! Oh, what? We came all this way to bust you out. How inconsiderate. You kept us waiting. Won't you get in trouble for helping us? Oh, I'm the prodigal son, anyhow. It can't get any worse. Where's Pyra? This way. Follow us. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and skip y'all. Treasure acquired. Oh. 
You all right? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Honestly, though, chum, are you ever not getting scratched up? Ever since Pyra gave me half a life force, and we swore to reach Elysium, things have been rough. But... I'm actually glad. They feel like a sign of our bond, I guess. Something special we share as driver and blade. No! We lost the upper hand! Strung up in some kind of restraint. Look ahead. Uh. An ether accelerator. I've seen one like it before in old Torna. It certainly seems like they want us gone for good. So, if we crank up the output and really focused it, we could probably manage one strike. If the people here really are the descendants of the Tornans, then I have a message for them that I must pass on. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Mithra. He's here. I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. However, for the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where you stand. Is that truly your desire, your majesty? I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Is that not why you disappeared from history, along with Adam the hero? <laughs> Begin. Ether Accelerator. The what now? It's a weapon from long ago, designed to use Genbu's ether energy for destruction. I never dreamed they'd fully restore it. My old man, he's gonna use it to kill Pyra. No matter how strong she is, there'd be no coming back from that. In that case, we can't let him use it. Time to take you guys. You have made it. You have made it. You have made it. You have made it. I can feel my demons. I can tackle. We can do it. But how? Just a picking. But how? But how? But how? But how? But how? But Eat it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we shall not lose! Victory is within our grasp! Just 
Five hundred years. For five hundred years, we Tantalese have concealed the Omega Fetter. Do you know why? Um. Our old homeland, Torna, was destroyed in the Aegis War. Our hero, Adam, also failed to return. You must understand. Old Torna as a country was united around the hero, but our ancestors less so. What are you saying? That we're not Adam's bloodline? Precisely. In Torna, our family were just a cadet branch. We only gained our current position in the confusion of the war's aftermath. But then we're just a bunch of usurpers! They were desperate times. We had no choice. The nation must continue at all costs. Even if it meant claiming Adam's name. With its guiding force gone, much blood was spilled in Torna. We did what had to be done to reunite it under the new banner of Tanta. Legends of the hero who saved the world are deeply ingrained in people's hearts. And you used them for your own political agenda. Even so, all was done in the name of saving the world from burning once more. Don't you dare try and sugarcoat it. Short story is, they saw an opportunity to gain influence and they took it. Gah! That is the way of the world. Moradain could easily take a similar path. Yes, we are in no position to condemn them outright. So did 
this Adam guy really never return? Indeed. The records indicate he went missing immediately after sealing away the Aegis. It is likely he simply perished during the journey home. He didn't just go missing. What did you say? Aegis? Adam. He had foreseen everything. He knew what would happen to the people after the kingdom fell. But he chose not to return. Adam left us of his own will. But why? Hear me, my science. I am Adam Origo. This day I seal the Aegis, away from the world. But this seal is not for eternity. In anticipation of the day that humanity becomes worthy of the Aegis's power, I entrust her to posterity. She is our hope. When mankind has matured and learned to live better lives, she will answer your call and return to you. Trusting that day will come, I leave my final wish to you. Adam foresaw much confusion and hardship in the world ahead. And when I seemed unsure, he told me something. This is a trial. Is me sleeping a part of the trial? That's right. It is a trial for us humans, one we must overcome ourselves. If we cannot do that, we don't deserve to live alongside you. Side. To be honest, I still don't fully understand what he meant by that. Whether he simply meant the coexistence of humans and blades, or something more. But I think he made a difficult choice. For the sake of everyone's survival. Whoa. Your Majesty! What is this? It's Genbu! It's broken free of our control and started to dive into the clouds. What? Are you certain? <laughs> Pandy! What exactly is happening? Could it be that blast? What is he? Tantal keeps Genbu under control using the Omega Fetter. But firing the Ether Accelerator, it could have created a counterflow in Genbu's Ether Conduits, causing a critical overload. So Genbu's broken? Oh no! My words can't reach him anymore! Genbu is just going to dive deeper and deeper. Then... Domo! Git! That's what happens when you use antiquated parts! The cloud sea has a similar density to water. As we dive, the pressure will keep building. By 500 pets, a human would be crushed completely. And all that force will weigh down on Genbu? What's our depth now? 2,200 peds, sir. We are diving at a rate of 120 peds per minute. And Gembu's depth limit? 25,000, give or take. That'll give us 
just over three hours. Whoa, Shell, it's good at maths. Bite me. This ain't good. Hey, Chum, there's a pressure resistant pond in the palace's southern tower. You guys at least should get in and escape. What about you and everyone else? Don't worry about us. How can I possibly not worry about you? Isn't there any other way? Some way to save everyone? Only Pandoria can tell Genbu what to do. If it won't budge for her, it's no use. Apart from that, all we can do is try to evacuate as many people as we can. But with just three hours. I think you mentioned before, you control Genbu using the Omega Factor, right? Uh, yeah, but... Where is it? Inside Genbu's head. It's straight south from the palace, through Genbu's spinal column. I will go. You'll go? Pilot, what are you... The Omega Feather is originally Ophion's control core. And Ophion is my artifice. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I might be able to fix it. Pyra? Pyra being serious? They tried to kill Pyra one minute ago? That's a totally separate issue. Isn't that what you'd say, Rex? What? Oh, yeah. I guess it is. And that's why. Friend Pyra! Tora get it! Then Tora and Poppy also lend help! Looks like we're in too, Drumak. I would have it no other way. That's settled then. Stay out of our way, old man. Got it? You and all... Risk your lives for this. For the sake of Tantal, though we attempted to destroy the Aegis. It's not about Tantal. Then why? You're a king, right? You ought to be able to figure it out. Rex, you are... Morag? You leave me little choice. Zeke, where was the fetter again? How do we get there? I won't just tell you. I'll take you right to it. Zeke? Save it, old man. You better make a start on evacuating the people. Though with us on the case, your efforts are probably going to be wasted. Understood. No time for chit-chat. Let's go! Yeah!
Okay, so leave that. I'm back. Nicely done. All right. So now it's a race against the clock. Luckily, there's no timer. Ah. Anywho, I believe this is a good place to take a break. So. Alright, so we got nothing, but that's alright. We'll keep trying. Anywho, like I said, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, instead of doing the story, I believe we're far enough where we could probably do a few of the blades that we have blade quests. Not only start, but maybe even finish as well. So that's what we're going to do starting next video. Man, look at that. Alright, so like and comment on the video. Subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.